Japan has been one of the most cautious countries in the region and, indeed, in the world regarding its approach to COVID-19 and the resulting border restrictions. From the onset of the pandemic until today, Japan tried twice to reopen, albeit only a crack, with both times ending in a reclosure of the borders due to rising COVID-19 case numbers or variants. Just in November, for example, Japan attempted to reopen by introducing a new travel exemption system, only to close off that system after only three weeks when the Omicron variant became rampant. Due to these lengthy border closures, it was estimated that as of January 2022, there was a backlog of about 400,000 foreign nationals waiting to enter the country, some with already approved Certificates of Eligibility, or COE, which are akin to a pre-approval for such foreign nationals to enter for specific purposes. Then, on February 17th, Prime Minister Fumio Kishida announced the imminent reopening of Japan's borders for certain foreign nationals from the 1st of March 2022. That said, the entry bans ostensibly still remain in place, and as such, the government is still requiring companies to apply for an Exceptional Certificate of Registration, or COR, for eligible foreign nationals. Therefore, companies must still apply to register under the Ministry of Health's ERFS, or Entrance Returnees Follow-up System, to then start submitting their COR applications. With an approved COR, the traveler can then apply for their entry visa at the Japanese consulate in their home country. With a few days having passed since this new system has been implemented, the system does seem to be more straightforward than the one introduced last year, with fewer documents and faster processing times for now. It remains to be seen whether, like last year's system, the authorities will continue to tweak the system and or replace or scrap it entirely as the pandemic situation improves. This is Kenneth Lau in the Fragment Singapore office, and this has been your Mobility Minute.